Well, Chopper, things seem to have come full circle 14 months on. Uh, you're back in the managerial hot seat with a, a bit more experience under your belt and, uh, and 10 games to, to pull off some sort of massive feat, really. Yeah, football's crazy sometimes. Um, you know, firstly, you know, I've learned so much from Ollie in, a, in, in the last sort of 12 to 14 months. It's, it's been terrific. Um, I'm 14 months down the line on my development as a coach. Um, I find myself in a position because we're struggling in the league. Um, results haven't gone quite as we planned. A lot to play for, a lot to be excited about, a lot to look forward to. Um, but the work starts on the training pitch and all that matters at the moment is results on the pitch. It's easy when you say it like that, but clearly you know, the results tell their own story. So um, you've got to somehow inspire a significant improvement. So where do you start? I think trying to put a belief back into the boys. Um, they care, we've got a bunch at the moment that care um, and that want to perform and they found it really difficult of late so um, a, a big thing is trying to get them to be able to play football then, uh, try and get the fans to get behind the team, uh, give them plenty to cheer about, try and put some mill style beliefs in them, the way we're going to play. Um, you know, It starts Saturday at Bolton which is obviously a very difficult game but one we certainly look forward to, it's a good challenge for us, we have to be competitive. We have to compete, um, and what we have to do is when our chances come along, we have to take them. Do we infer from what, what you said about a, a Millwall style of play that you might see a slight, a slight change under under your manage, managership in terms of the way we play? Yeah, possibly. We'll have to, you know, there's lots to look at between now and Saturday. Um, you know, certainly people will be given an opportunity um, to grab a shirt and play, and you know, players that maybe have not played so well of late still get an opportunity to play. Um, will I tinker with, with the style of play? Possibly. You know, lots to consider. I've got to see who's fit um, and you know, see who maybe fits into my style of play. Clearly the biggest problem you've already touched on, scoring more goals. I mean, that, that's been the Achilles heel as a, a former striker yourself. Um, you know, presumably, not a lot of time, but you get alongside the likes of Lee Gregory, who's come through the same route as you did. Yeah. Ricky Fuller, who's, who's seen it, done it, been there got the t-shirt, um, Gary Taylor Fletcher and, and just trying to instill a little bit of belief back into them that they can get the goals that we need. Yeah definitely, well, Greg has certainly been um, unlucky with opportunities that you know I'm, I'm watching him, I'm watching his movements fantastic, I'm watching his, his quality of finishing is outstanding, um, you know sometimes you just need a, um, something to hit you and go in or a bobble to you know go into the ground and over the goalkeeper um, or maybe a penalty like you got on Saturday um, when you're four 0 down to you know give you that sort of belief back again, there's not you know I've said to him there's not a lot he's got to do to to make the ball go in the net. It, it will happen for him. I believe in him. Um, a lot of similarities between him and myself when I come in. Um, but you know we've got other guys that, that that can score goals and have scored goals. And you know it's fine saying the strikers need to score goals, but they need to be given the opportunities to do that. The question that people are obviously going to ask of yourself, of the chairman, of Andy, is you know is this a long-term thing for you now, or, or you know, it's ten games to start with. What's your feeling about it? But you know, we've left it really open. Um, I got a call last evening, um, you know, just just to sort of keep us in the loop that that Ollie, um, you know, will not be with us for, for any longer. So you know, that the, the chairman would like me to to do it for a period of time, and we've not said that you know, indefinite period. We've not, you know, ideally it'd be to the end of the season, and and then we just go from there. You know. We've, Still young, got loads to learn. Um, you know, am I going to enjoy it? I hope so. You know, the, the, the players going to take to my tactics. Let's hope so. And are the fans going to get behind my team? Um, that'd be up to the players to give them something to cheer about. And if it's longer, it's longer. If it's not, if we get to the end of the ten games and, and whatever happens, whether we're in the championship or League One, um, then we'll assess it from there. Is it possible to get out of it? Ten games, thirty points. You're eight adrift at the moment. I mean, it would be a massively tall order. Put it this way: if you achieve it, I don't know about managership, you probably get a knighthood as well. Yeah, there's no there's no promises. You know, there's certainly no promises from me. You know, I don't think the club going to make any promises other than that that I'll give it my all, as will the team. Um, lots of points to play for. I want to see the team play with pride. I want to I want to see an excitement. Um, I want to see Millwall style style performances. I want to see. I want the fans to see the players play for them. Um, and if we get a result or two, we'll see where it takes us. But it'll be difficult. We're in a really difficult situation at the moment. Um, but we can only take one game at a time.